Hi, this is Luke Coley. I wanted to quickly show you how to use Loopback to get a clean audio input so that Zoom doesn't mix your audio. Let's jump right in. This is the output configuration you want to have in Loopback. You'll want to create a device that has your microphone and whatever you're using for playback. In this case, I'm using QLab. You're going to create two sets of channels with the wires connected there uh, as shown, and then one more to connect the output so you can hear the music back in your meeting. Uh, additionally, there are these faders under here to quickly adjust your volume of the music versus your microphone. I usually like to start with the music much lower and then bring it up to taste uh, under the microphone. Then once this is here, I can I named it Zoom plus QLab. I can go into my Zoom meeting and select the audio input as Zoom plus QLab. And once that's there, um, it has the music plus my microphone already mixed to Zoom. Just want to make sure you would turn on original sound and uh, everything will come through clean without Zoom rebalancing with the shared sound thing. Now let's get into how I did that. So I'm going to go ahead and erase this and start again. So I'm going to name this Zoom plus music, whatever you end up using for music playback. I'm going to get rid of this pass through real quick because I'm not going to use that. What I'm going to do is add my microphone first. Here that is. I like to open the fader immediately. And then add. I don't have QLab running, so let's go ahead and open up QLab. And I'll go back to loopback while that launches. Now I have QLab running. Here we are. There it is. So let's go ahead and create another set of output channels, three and four. And I'm going to erase these wires. So I want to highlight them. They'll bold. Click delete. And then drag these over so that you, these go to channel three and four. The output of QLab is going to be this second set of channels. Now that collapses down so that Zoom sees it as one input. Um, so your microphone and your music will be showing up as one audio input. Now, if you want to hear the playback, which is what we want to do, if I want to hear that music, I'm going to put it over my laptop speakers. And I don't want the microphone in any way connected to that because that will cause a feedback loop if I start to turn it up. Yeah, no good. So, let's get rid of that. Like, bolding those wires and clicking delete. Bolding. Alright. And then, these outputs will go here. So, whatever's playing through QLab will come out the output here, but it, the microphone won't. So you'll just hear playback at the same time that it's going to Zoom. And then if you're teaching a class, or maybe you just have some kind of presentation, or if you're um, performing, you know, you can sing over tracks or whatever you might be doing. Um, you'll then select your input, which in this case I renamed Zoom plus music. And my output will just be the built-in output. So I'll hear the Zoom meeting along with the QLab playback coming through it all at the same time. So then I can have QLab over here with my tracks laid out. If it'll let me resize, I have to be in show mode. Over to here. And then I can see my Zoom meeting. I have QLab running and I can see everything I'm doing all from the screen. And I have limit less interaction with the computer. And it's more, I just hit Q, go, and I can perform or do whatever I'm doing over Zoom. Uh, hope this is helpful. Thanks for watching.